Hello friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm in a little different of an area right now. You can see my dog. Oreo, say hi. No? Okay. <laughs> I'm in my living room and we have like a giant window out here and I was like, you know what? Why not film this little video? My other dog is here too. He's just chilling. But I was like, I want to make this video super chill and just like talk with you guys you know because i know that things are very different going into this school year especially for drexel if you're going to drexel then you know that we're all online for the fall once again and i mentioned it in my last video too um that drexel went fully online but i'm still moving in because i have a lease at an apartment and i just like i really want to be on campus for work and to like focus on my school because having to do my last quarter online at home was like it was terrible i had no motivation i would like fall asleep during class because i would take it in my bed which is not good and like i really wanted to care about school but it just seemed like pointless because it was just like a bad time so now with fall being online as well i wanted to give you guys a few tips especially for the freshmen for like trying to integrate themselves into the college community without actually being there and actually meeting people in person because i know that's going to be super hard already having to meet new people and enter a new school is stressful and then on top of it being online you're like not actually meeting anybody that's really hard and i'm sorry that that's what it came to but yeah i thought it would be nice to give you guys just a couple of tips to like try and navigate this quarter or semester if you're going by that schedule. Also, I wanted to mention that this video is a collaboration with Sydney Kate. She's another Drexel YouTuber. Hi everyone, so my name is Sydney and I'm super excited to be collabing with Ash for this video. Over on my channel, you will find myself giving you guys 10 tips on how to do your very best with online classes. Like we know the transition from in-person classes to now everything online has not been the easiest. So I really hope my tips and tricks help you out somewhat for the fall quarter um i will let ash continue her video right here but i just wanted to say hello yeah so we are doing another collab she's giving some advice on how to succeed just in classes i'm just going to give tips like about college in general because there's a lot more than classes that comes with a college experience so i hope this video is helpful if you're new here be sure to hit subscribe somewhere down below give this video a like and follow me on all of my social medias i'll have them like floating around on the screen somewhere. Yeah, let's just get into it. Hello. <laughs> okay, I moved the camera so you can see my dog. Say, say hi. Say hi, pretty girl. So she's just gonna chill there while I give you guys tips if you don't mind. <laughs> so my first tip for online school this year is do not be afraid to reach out to people on social media, especially now because everything's online, you're not gonna see each other. Even before I entered college, I would be reaching out to people or people would be reaching out to me just through like Instagram DMs or Facebook DMs even. I'm sure you guys have like a Facebook group. And they would just be like, you know, hey, uh, I'm trying to make friends at school. Like, nice to meet you. Here's my major, all of that. Send like small introductions like that. Just say you're trying to make friends. It's really hard to make friends when you're not like physically meeting people and if you just like if you see someone in your zoom class that you recognize from social media or maybe like you just see someone that looks cool like just reach out to them dude just be like hey you're in my class so yeah just like don't be afraid to do that um i know it can be awkward and definitely very unconventional but <laughs> Okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures is all I'm saying. Also, if you want a friend at Drexel, I'm here. Oh my gosh, why didn't I say that before? Dude, reach out to me on Instagram. Like, I, I need social interaction. Please, you can talk to me. It'll be fun. I'm a really fun person. Why do I sound like I'm trying to convince myself? No, I'm serious. Go for it, you know? Like, what do you have to lose? You don't know these people. If they think you're weird, then you don't have to see them on campus. Yeah, that's all I'm saying is don't be afraid to reach out to people on social media because that's going to be your main form of making friends, at least for the time being. That being said, another great way to meet people is by joining clubs. And you might think that like joining clubs isn't worth it, 
right now because it's online and like you're not going to be going to events or anything fun like that it's good to just like already have some familiar bleh, familiar air fam why can't i say that word it's good for people in the club to like already know your face so that when you get to campus you'll automatically be able to like say you know people so joining clubs is a great way to just like get your foot through the door and already have like an established foundation in the community because that's what you want to do that's what you want to try to do is like find a community at school that you can fit in with and you can feel comfortable with and the only way to do that is to like try different things get involved in different clubs like an honor society like an academic one is your wave if you like sports or music or greek life like anything like that Go for it, like there should be nothing stopping you. <laughs> My third tip is to have like a calming study space. You don't want your brain to feel scattered and anxious. And this is just personally how I do it, but I like my, my workspace to be neat and organized because I feel like if my desk gets messy, then I just like can't function like productively so whether it be like changing your room decor or just putting loose objects into a space where they like belong try to do something to just manifest a productive mindset if that makes sense you'll work more efficiently and you'll be more productive that way and like just mentally and emotionally you won't feel as disorganized so going along with that i would also say try to separate your workspace from your relaxation space and what i mean by that is if you can go into like a different area of your room or a different room in your house or your apartment or anywhere like that i would definitely recommend that because if you combine the place where you work and the place that you relax i feel like you won't ever be able to fully work productively and you also won't be able to fully relax which is something that i experienced because my house isn't that huge my room is basically like my personal area i tried to just like do work and relax in the same room and it was really hard so what i personally did was my bed was where i sat when i wanted to just relax and decompress and my desk is where I did all of my work, I took all of my classes, I made sure to stay at my desk if I ever wanted to be productive or something. It worked out enough, like my grades were still good during spring quarter, but I definitely wish I had more separation between my workspaces and my comfort spaces, so that's something I would definitely recommend. My fifth tip is something that I cannot stress enough, and if you don't take anything away from this video, please just remember this one thing. Invest in a planner or a bullet journal or a notebook, just anything where you can write down your schedule and assignments because especially since things are online, it can get really easy to get disorganized and all of a sudden you have all of these deadlines and all of these due dates that you just totally forgot about and then you fall behind and it's not good. That's how I stayed organized even when I, uh, when I was on campus and it was honestly a lifesaver when we switched to online. This next tip is more so about like the experience that you'll be missing out on because things are online, especially if you're a freshman and college would have been the first time you like moved out of your childhood home. Try to make small efforts to be a little more independent. If you have a car and you can drive, go some places sometimes, maybe make your own meals, do your own laundry, just like little things like that to get you more independent and you learn a little bit more about, you know, taking care of yourself, taking care of the house, cleaning, because I feel like things like that, you never truly learn until you move out. But because like COVID took away that opportunity for you this time around, just try to make little efforts to be your own adult. Personally, like I really love my independence. I feel like when I went away to college, I learned so much more about keeping a house clean and doing chores and just little things like that that my parents would usually do. You just learn a lot more when you're away at school and because you don't have that option anymore, just like try to make efforts to, to learn them at home. So my next tip is something that like applies to both on campus and off campus. I found that scheduling more direct meetings is so much more beneficial than emailing. Like when I was on campus, 
I would schedule in-person appointments with my advisor for things or with my professors. But when you're, especially because you're remote now, I feel like it's a lot more efficient if you have like a phone or a Zoom call with them rather than just emailing back and forth because some things can get lost in translation. Also, it's just a great way, especially for freshmen, to like get to know your program and your professors because it's a lot easier to sympathize with students and what they're going through with everything online when you can see their face and you can hear their voice. That's not to say that my professors are not sympathetic. Please don't think that because my professors handled the switch to online really well. That's what I feel. I feel like you just get more things done and you can get them done quicker. So don't be afraid to schedule phone calls or Zoom calls. You know, hit them up with an email beforehand. Just say like, hey, can we schedule something? But I would not recommend corresponding only through email. Oh my God, okay. You have probably heard this so many times and I feel like I feel like even though I heard this a lot, I still didn't listen. Don't buy your textbooks. Just, God, just don't do it. I will not sugarcoat it. There are some classes that you will have to buy it because the, the textbooks come with an access code that you need. Like my accounting class last spring, like I had no choice. I had to buy the textbook because it came with an access code that I needed to do my homeworks. But if you can avoid buying a textbook, then please do yourself a favor, go on Chegg, go on like Amazon rentals, even if those are cheaper. You can find a bunch of free textbook resources online. Just don't buy your textbooks. And honestly, like if you can get a hold of an older kid in your major and ask them like, do you really need this textbook? and they tell you no, then you, you don't have to get it. Don't buy your textbooks, you'll save a lot of money. My, I think this is ninth. My ninth tip is super duper important. Hello. <laughs> Do not take your classes in your bed. Like, like under your covers, Jess woke up. Do not do that. Last spring, when things went online for the first time, I had a class where the only options were 8 a.m. and 9.30. I thankfully was able to get the 9.30 class. It was early still for me. And there were times, multiple times, where I would wake up like 15 minutes before class started. I would grab my laptop, put my headphones on, get under my covers, and just take class. And more often than not, which is really embarrassing, I'm really embarrassed to admit this. I would fall asleep during that class quite often because I would take it in my bed. I was, it was so comfy and I was still sleepy. So I just fell back asleep and it, it's, it, it, yeah. Thankfully he uploaded the notes on Blackboard and I was still able to get an A in that class. But you can't do that for every single class. You know, it doesn't always work that way. So definitely don't take don't take your classes in your bed. Or if you are, then don't get under your covers and lie down. Like that's just, oh God, that's just a disaster waiting to happen. So yeah, um, don't, don't take your classes under your covers in your bed. Try to do it at a desk or at least sit up in your bed. I know it's tempting to just like sprawl out, but it's just, it's not gonna be good for you. Okay, this is my 10th and final tip and it's to have a positive attitude. I feel kind of hypocritical saying this because I absolutely dreaded waking up <laughs> during the times where I had online classes, which is like totally understandable because it's just such a difficult situation. And I'm sure a lot of us were looking forward to just like being on campus and seeing our friends again. And now that that's not happening, it feels like that one thing that was like keeping you hanging on by a thread has gone away, which like I get it, but try your best to just keep an open mind, keep a positive attitude. Because I can tell you from like a student's perspective and also as someone involved in a lot of clubs, like we are trying our best to make your experience fulfilling despite the fact that it's online i'm sure i'm sure your professors and your program directors are trying their best to make it a fulfilling experience and i know that a lot of things you simply can't replicate remotely but i feel like things will get better soon and i think it'd be great to have like that mindset going into this because you know you have no choice so you might as well um just try and keep your head up about it yeah Stay positive, y'all. And if you need 
someone to talk to to just vent there are a lot of like mental health resources that you can find through your school or like online so those were all of my tips for online college this fall if you want to hear more tips about like succeeding remote classes then definitely be sure to check out sydney's video i'll have it linked in the description down below and if you're coming from sydney's video and you made it to this point you're a very good human so yeah i'll see you guys in my next video and if you are coming back to drexel's campus i'll see you there yeah bye <laughs>